for a lot of us here on FishTube, there's always something to talk about. And seemingly, perennially, there is always a new fish food or some kind of food discussion that happens. And we all know that I have certain foods that I absolutely love, but recently I started trying something new. It might be an interesting option to include in your fish food routine. Hello everyone, this is Bentley. And today we're gonna talk about a fish food that I've been trying for the past several months. Uh, and it's a little new, it's made in the USA, which is kind of a big bonus for certain people. But more importantly is the base ingredient, mysa shrimp. So you guys know that I absolutely love Extremes, Krill Flake, their Community Flake, which are spirulina and krill bases. I, I love that stuff. I use it regularly. We've talked about some of the other foods I've used over the past. Uh, of course, frozen food and live baby brine shrimp. I'll preach all day about how awesome those are. But when it comes to prepared food, something simple. This is the new guy I've been trying. So this, should we get over here a little more light? Ah, there we go. A little easier to see. This is the new guy that I've been trying, which is Piscine Energetics Mysis Flake. They just call it their PE Flakes. So some of the interesting stuff about this food is really simple. One, it's a mysis shrimp base, which for those of you who maybe keep a little salt water or you just kind of lightly look at salt water every once in a while like I do, mysis is a very, very popular food to use, especially frozen mysis shrimp in salt water. Uh, the other big thing about mysa shrimp, and much like this food here, is that it's very easy to sustainably harvest, which in this case, their mysis is sustainably harvested. Uh, and like I said before, it's made in the USA, a container, because people apparently like find it crazy that I call this a tin, but a container this size, which is 50 grams or 1.76 ounces, is about 10 bucks. Uh, Somewhere between $10 and $12 is probably what you're going to pay for it. I bought this particular one from my friend Jason over at Redfish Bluefish last time I went to visit him. Uh, this is a food he's been carrying. And I have some opinions about it, so let's dive in. I think the first thing that I want to note is, and <laughs> it'll be hard to see. I'm going to open the container. This will be a little off the fly, but like, I have really ground mine up. And you can kind of see it's all, it's all beat up. But when you first get it, it's stacked in like these huge flakes like this. And even if I can... Uh, let me see if I can grab, like, the biggest flake left in here. This is a chunk of a flake. Or two chunks, as they're going to stick together. But, like, this is after grinding it up to get it smaller. Uh, this particular flake really does come in quite large. And it's, <laughs> you know, for some people that might be perfectly fine. For me, I just, like, spent time mashing it up inside the container uh, because I tend to really powder my flake food down for the, uh, my rainbows and a lot of my smaller fish, especially the guppies. And it's just one of those things where I was like, that's, that's a little different. It's not really a negative or a positive, but it was kind of interesting. One other thing that I, I would love to point out is that uh, you get, on the very bottom, a Best Buy label. Uh, you might not be able to read that, but it has a Best Buy date on it, lot number information, and you don't necessarily have that like super plain Jane like this that's really obvious. And I kind of like that. It's kind of like a, a points to maybe a not as large company like a Tetra or something like that, right? And you tend to have a little bit more care and craftsmanship in a sense of it's a little more hands-on in that. And I really hope that they're as open to feedback as what I've been lucky enough to have with Extreme. Let's talk feedback on this stuff. So one... I, I absolutely love that this stuff is based on a mysis shrimp. So this gives me something to add to my arsenal. I've got a little bit of krill flake from Extreme, a little bit of spirulina-based flake also from Extreme, just in their community crave, and then a little bit of mysis that I can mix in. Different protein sources just are nice. It's good to have a varied kind of flavored diet, if you will. I even have some of the uh, Bug Bites flake from from Fluval. So I've got kind of a mix of insect base and and small, small shrimp base kind of stuff, right? And then you, of course you can have things like your frozen food, so I'll use frozen daft and all that kind of stuff. And the that mixture is really, really nice. I love it for my rainbows, especially which rainbows like a little bit more protein. Uh, speaking of, we'll give you the the stuff here. So crude protein, 46%. Uh, that's these are all minimums, right? It's a like guaranteed analysis. Crude fat, 13%, fiber, 1.1%. Ash 5% max, 
uh, moisture of 5% max, and then a minimum of 1% phosphorus. So pretty good. There's not too much ash, which is the, the kind of filler binder that they have to use in flake. It's really common. Uh, the food has a pretty good ingredient list. So number one, right off the top, mysis, then fish protein. Uh, then you get some soy protein and wheat starch. These are all the things that they use as fillers to help bind everything together. But number one, this is, uh, if I remember right, it's something like 50% mysis just to start. Let me see if they have it on the label. Uh, my, my buddy Jason was telling me some of He's really loving this stuff at his shop. He's like, you should try some. Uh, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll buy a tin. It's only like, you know, it was only 10 bucks for a little tin of this. And it'll go me a little while. And give me an idea. But I think maybe one of the more important things is a lot like the extreme krill flake. When this hits the water, my fish go for it immediately. And that's a big thing for me. I've had some other flakes that I've tried in the past or some other foods that the fish don't go for right away. And that is one of those things where you don't want food laying around, molding, whatever it may do, breaking down, just causing problems inside a fish tank. So if your fish go for it right away, it's usually a good sign that it's it's got the right stink. <laughs> it's the only way I can think of it. You know, fish are so attracted to smell in the water when it comes to their food, but it just, it has, it has the right stink to make the fish go, I bet that's delicious. And they just snap on it right away. I guess we could sm smell test it like the krill. The krill flake actually like smells good compared to like a lot of fish food. Actually, kind of. Yeah, it's not like offensive. You know, some fish food just smells funky. You're just kind of like. Yeah, why? In the krill, you're just kind of like. Eh, it's not bad. It's kind of the same deal. Uh, not, not some like really offensive flavor, so probably not going to foul your water, which is good news. Uh, but realistically, my fish hit it so fast, there's no way it's going to foul my water. They devour this stuff when I put it in. In fact, why don't we cut and we'll just watch the rainbows eat some and you can listen to me talk about the rest. So this, this will be short because it's food based. But let me talk about, is this going to replace my extreme krill flake? No. And part of the reason is... Whilst I do like this food quite a bit, uh, for the amount I get for its price versus the, the similar price and the larger size container that I can buy of the Krill Flake or the Community Crave, I like mixing both of them, honestly. I like using both. Um, I think it works out to be slightly more cost-effective on the extreme. And the big thing is, with Rainbow Fish especially... That krill is really good for making the color pop. I can't say that I've seen any like super difference in color with the uh, the PE flakes. However, what I will say is they float pretty well, um, and that doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean that they sit completely at the top surface. But just they don't start sinking right away unless I put them directly in the flow, and the flow just disperses them everywhere. Which uh, you know I'm probably going to do with the rainbows because that's what they like. They like chasing stuff, but. It's one of those things where I would use this as a supplement. So I'd mix this in. Realistically, nowadays, I kind of use a varied diet. I love mixing different foods together and just kind of making a the Bentley mix, if you will. And I think the Bentley mix is probably going to change. Right now, it's pretty much just straight up uh, the Community Crave, which is half spirulina, half krill from Extreme, and a little bit of um, just the standard Bug Bite Flake Tropical Formula. I like that quite a lot. I like mixing those three together. Uh, and realistically, I think this will just get mixed in. And I'll have a little bit of each of those four foods mixed for all of my different tanks. And they all do pretty well on this as their main. And then they get supplements of frozen and or live baby brine shrimp when I'm doing live baby brine. It's been really, really effective. It's a s extremely effective in the Guppy Mansion because this stuff floats just long enough that a lot of the babies can get to some of the small particles when I'm grinding it up, and the adults are paying attention to all the stuff that's at the top. Uh, when I so like, I'll put some in at first, and they get distracted, and then I'll sprinkle it around more of the tank and let it start to sink down, uh, and the babies get an opportunity to eat plenty of it. Uh, they've been doing really well on this particular food. Like I said, I've mostly been feeding. Uh, that particular room where the Guppy Mansion is on the PE flakes, so I've fed every tank, let all of them try it several times. They all go after it like gangbusters in my house, but um, that particular tank has actually been seeing this food the most because it has a lot of small babies, and I want to see how they take to this food, how they grow on that food, and the answer is really simple. 
They do really great on it, similar to how they do on the krill. I think it's a nice, high-quality food, a lot like the Extreme Krill Flake. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people like, well, this XYZ is the best food out there ever. It's more better, blah, blah, blah. A lot of food is high quality these days. Very few foods are really bad when it comes to a prepared food. Now, of course, live food is always going to be the best. Frozen food is close behind it. Some freeze-dried foods are very good, but if you're going to use some kind of prepared staple, whether it's a pellet, a granule, a flake, depending on your fish, this stuff's actually pretty nice. That's it. Like, I just, I, I want to try this stuff. I've had actually several people ask me about this. I get asked about all sorts of foods. There's only so many I can try. But uh, this has actually been on my list ever since Jason has basically talking my ear off about it. <laughs> so, there you go, buddy. <laughs> There's there's your there's your feedback. Uh, I do like this stuff. I don't think it's going to directly replace anything I keep. It's not like I'm going to certainly go like, I'll never feed anything but the PE flake. Not going to happen. I love varied diets for my fish way too much. But definitely going to mix some of this stuff in. Because I like it. And the fish like it. And a little bit different protein sources right on my alley. So, we've got this stuff. <laughs> Fake thumbnail right there, right? Just the Vanna White that bad boy little. <laughs> I have to goof off a little, right? I have to goof off a little. But no, seriously. Uh, I think it's a nice food. If give it a try if you're not already like hooked on something. If you're hooked on something, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right? Don't like suddenly be like, oh new food. Throw away everything I have. Try that. Because I give you an example. Here's another food that I've been trying for a while. You you probably won't even know this stuff. The German company makes this stuff, and uh, <laughs> their their name is just like premium quality. It's kind of weird, but this is a, a fifty percent brine shrimp based flake that I've been trying, and. Uh, I might review it. Let me know in the comments. You want me to review that stuff too? I'll talk about it. It's interesting. I got it through uh, a friend of mine, but it has positives and negatives. <laughs> it's, it's not as like just pure positive like the, the PE flakes are. I like this stuff quite a lot, whereas like that's kind of... <laughs> so let me know if you want to know about that stuff. But seriously, uh, if you are kind of in the market for a new food, maybe you... Uh, maybe you tried extreme and your fish just didn't like it. Maybe try the mysis based stuff. Uh, I've had really good success with my fish so far. They tend to go at it like crazy. You've seen the footage from when I fed him this tank behind me here. Let me know what you think. I, I think it's a really nice food. I've really been enjoying uh, <laughs> how fast my fish devour this stuff. Because I like make noise with the dumb thing. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried the Pisces Energetic stuff? Have you looked at it? Did you even know it existed? I want to know. Give a little thumbs up if you enjoyed this. If you're like, dude, I can't stand hearing about more fish foods. I got enough. I already, I love, I'm on tropical granules, man. I'm Lucas Bretz. I don't change nothing. Okay. Okay. You hit that thumbs down twice. I'll understand. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay awesome.